This is a new Let's Play that I'm going to do. The Guild of Dungeoneering came out either today or yesterday, or at a very recent point in the past. Uh, I think it looks really interesting. Uh, it's a sort of tile-based game. I think it's probably somewhere between you building up uh, a guild of Dungeoneers, and also you designing the dungeons that they're going to be involved in. I know almost nothing about it, other than the fact that it seems fascinating. This is my genuinely first touch of the game. So we're going to go, we're going to create a new game, and we're going to see what it's all about. See? I, none of my save slots have been used. That's how you know that uh, this is uh, brand new for me. Wow, so there is actually quite a lot of reading there. <clears throat> the Ivory League of Explorers. I'm going to read this out to you. What else am I here for? The noblest, most virtuous guild in the land. Pfft, those insufferable jerks. I'll show them. They won't think me so grossly incompetent when I have my own guild. I've bought a small hall in the bad part of town with the gold I borrowed from them. I've staked out a dungeon that's ripe for the picking. I've even found a chump who can do all the dirty work while I sit back and watch the coins roll in. Like my father always told me, there's always someone stupider than yourself. Well, he never really said it to me. Actually, he said it to everyone but me. Hey, wait a minute. It's not bad. Welcome to your guild. Welcome to our guild. We need to hire some Dungeoneers, so let's build a barracks. Now this, I think, is one of the interesting parts of the system. It's that all of this is card-based. So you take these cards out, and it will transform into a sort of square next to the main hall. So that's what the barracks will look like. Uh, doot. And you see there, look at the different options for it. So that's your front door, so you can't put it down there. But you can build it basically in any one of the available slots. So I'm going to put it here. A new dungeoneer arrived, Alan, who is a chump. Click to rename. Uh, click to rename. Hmm. Let's call him. Ch no, we can't call him that. You know what? Let's leave it with Alan. I think Alan is a fine name. Close. You can now expand your guild to gain new Dungeoneers and abilities. Okay. But first, try going on an adventure. Go exploring. Oh, so this is some sort of... This is the unknown around us for the moment. This is the only dungeon that's available. New. Brand new dungeon. Right in town. Get your dungeon here. Adventure rats, how original. Oh, so this is, we're killing rats in a cellar. I'm not sure where that originates from. I know that it was in Baldur's Gate. Um, so that's many years old now, much more than 10 um, years old. That's your first, one of your first quests in Baldur's Gate is to kill rats in the cellar. But even that might have been... Um, aping something from much earlier than that. So, uh, quest two is Rat Pack. So, let's see. Alan, our chump, he has five hearts, he's a dungeoneer. Blessing, don't know what that means, I can't click on it. Um, maybe there's a card? Oh yeah, we could get a blessing card, I imagine, at some later point. Let's enter this dungeon. Go, Alan, go! Yeah, so, these are Play up to three more cards this turn. Ooh. I'll play your first turn. It's easy. Okay. Yeah, so you saw what uh, you saw what happened there. We ha oh. Wow, it really is playing the whole of the first term. The first turn for us. Uh, <laughs> the rubber duck is playing stupidity. We have got closed eyes punch or cower. So that's not going to do anything, so I think we should uh, use physical damage against it. HA! 
anger. One physical damage to us. Let's cower to block that physical damage. It's good. Ooh. Two physical damage from it. I wonder what happens if we do a... Because hmm, we can only block one. We could go for a lucky hit. Mm, let's go for a lucky hit. Let's just take it. Let's just end this. There we go. I gain fire blast automatic. Oh no, I don't. Right, so... The twig gives me the bash. Which I think has a shield. Uh, the copper gives me a fire blast. The wooden board gives me repel, block three physical damage. Okay, well, I think the twig's quite good. Um, it seems to be a mix of both. Um, let's take that one. Let's take the twig. Okay, so, what we were really skipped by <laughs> quite a lot earlier on... Um, was this. So what we get is a room. This is one of the things we can place onto the board, the blue ones. We get a monster that we have to fight. Uh, so we've got two nasty rats. There are some nasty rats already out there. Nasty rats have five hearts and some traits which I don't understand. Not just a rat. Oh no, this one's nasty. Uh, giant bats have four but they have spooky as a trait. I'm not a vampire, leave me alone. Um, and then, of course, you have the prize that you actually win uh, at the end, which you place into the room. So I imagine as time goes on that we get more options for rooms, we get more options for creatures, and we get more options for treasure, which might be available to us. Possibly, I'm guessing here, you see this one in the corner? This one may indicate that it relates to a one type of monster, so we might get two treasure for two monsters, that sort of thing. Um, so, let's put a corridor down. Uh, let's put it here, because I'm not sure if we will be attacked by both rats at once if we activate that corridor. Um, let's put... Uh, for variety, let's put a giant bat in. And then let's put the gold coin in there as well. Is that gold coin? Allen versus giant bat. Ooh, okay. Right, so it has an unblockable physical damage, so there's no sense in us cowering. We will just go for a closed, eyes closed punch. Now what's interesting is that our health returns between the fights, so that's really good. Uh, one magic damage, plus one HP per damage dealt, so I wonder if we can block this. Or if magic damage comes through. No, we can block it, that's good. Uh, now our bash would normally block its damage, but its damage is unblockable, but it doesn't seem to make much difference, so I'm going to go with bash. I'm not sure if crush has any particular benefits to it. Uh, one physical damage and one block, so I am going to... Uh, oh, sorry, I'm just going to take the lucky, lucky hit. It puts me ahead anyway. Uh, I'm going to do the cower, because I don't want it to recover its health. This is good. This is good. Um, and we win. That was tougher, though. Definitely tougher. Uh, so we've got a fork. Oh, oh so we have to give up. Right, okay. Uh, because these are different slots, the fork would replace our stick. But the copper we can have just by itself, and the straight jacket. <laughs> Is that a good idea? That's what plus one heart. I think that's a good idea. We'll take the straight jacket. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, now that was an interesting thing that came in there. Don't know what that was about. Play up to three more cards this turn. So let's put in 
Let's put in a mysterious fountain here. And, oh, the Fountain of Blindness. Fountain of Blindness, monster gains conceal next fight. Hmm, I don't know that I'm going to go in there. We have very few options for where we can put that. Let's put this room up here. We don't know anything about that. Hmm, let's put a nasty rat in here. Well, let's get this over with. So I, I, oh, I still can't determine exactly what it is I have control over. Uh, an unblockable attack, a bite, so we will just punch. Uh, we can block that, so we will. I, I think possibly you've already seen my strategy for this, which is wherever possible to avoid damage. Uh, I'm not normally attacked. Neurotoxin, if successful, enemy discards something, so we definitely don't want that. We use Bash, which should save us from being hit. Uh, it's using an unblockable attack, so we'll just go all out, and that's us won that one. This is really good. I mean, like a lot of these card-based games, um, it's a fairly simple mechanic. <laughs> I like these little bits of music. I'm not going to let you listen to them, but uh, I do like them, nevertheless. So we've got 61 gold. Now, what can we do? I, actually, I quite like Alan. Let's see if we can stick with Alan for a while. But if we were going to expand the guild... Uh, hmm. hmm. There is a lot of stuff here, isn't there? Hmm. Right. Well, I'm going to leave all of that. I'm literally not going to buy anything at all uh, for that character for the moment. I'm going to go exploring again and see what happens. And can I? Can I go back here? Oh, yes. Okay, so this is quest two. Defeat the Rat King. Ooh. 